arm the series. It's a 15. There are 10 series. And 2018 is when it finished. I don't know when it started. But I'm going to be rating every episode. If I don't rate them up to your standards, it could be because I forgot. Or could be because I don't agree. Okay. We had Janice. That person there. Then the husband, Mick. Then you had Kate and Martin. Troy and Gavin, partners. Then you had the worker there. I forgot her name, but she was the old manager um, before Series 5 when she left. Um, and you had Matteo, who was a real nice guy, but he slept with women and was a bit brutal women at first. He became nice later on. You also had Donald and Jacqueline Swingers, who told everybody about their life. Later, they wife-swapped in it. And I think the actor Donald might actually have been dead, so that's why they wife what, you know, so they could hold death up a bit, you know, just to make it more funny, I'm not sure, but you um have tell um sisters of Michael and Michael is the brother to tell, of course. And they are son and daughter of Mick and Janice and the Nana is the mum of Janice. Okay, that was the main characters for series one. The first episode, don't think it was one of the best um, episodes in the series. It did have um, Michael um, burning one of um, the Nana's magazines nearly because, um, well, he picked up the lighter and he started off good and it was good when... Um, Janice was like, who does this? He did have the F word in that bit. So, if you're wondering where the quote's not exact, it's because I'm not going to swear, but he does have swearing and bend on. And it was good. It was an alright episode, but that episode when we get some... I thought at first it could have been a 7, but it had quality to be an 8. But it is a seven because it's not worthy of anything else. Second episode, I'm not sure I remember this one very well, but if it's that Chantel was pregnant out of spite, I'm gonna say that one's an eight, only because it sounds really funny for the series. And then the next one, don't really remember it very well, but I'm gonna say it's a seven. Series 1 wasn't the best series by far with the Garby family, better known in this series as the Gravy family, which they were called. Madge is, well, this is episode 4. Madge is giving Donald and Jacqueline belief that she's a swinger, which makes her think that they want to sl she wants to sleep with them. She doesn't, so... That episode gets an 8 because it's probably one of the best of the series, but he does flirt try with Matteo, which is kind of bad. And then a pub quiz one with Jeff and Noreen. Jeff and Noreen hadn't really been that brought into the series. Well, Jeff had been seen in the first episode, but it took him a long time to, you know, be introduced and be known. And I think that episode was probably worthy of being one of the best of the series. So that one will get um, an 8. And this is the final one where they went on the beach, the Garvey family, because they won the quiz. They thought they wouldn't, but they ended up winning it. That one in this series is getting a well-deserved eight. Because I think there was a joke, joke, joke as well in the pool, as you can see, Martin. Season Peter. two of Benny Dawn. Season two brought in Mel Maggie's later husband, boyfriend then. And that episode included one of his two, two, accidents that Madge, I think, and others thought he was dead. And he didn't die, of course. It was a joke, I think. Well made, like, dramatic, over dramatically done. And that episode was good, but he hadn't really got used to Mel because Mel was like, when Janice and Mick were joking around, um... Well, men would make, um, would, um, um, Mel would, like, stick up, I think, for himself or Mag, 
but you haven't really got used to that side of things. So that episode can only get a 7 for me. It's not a very good episode. It could be an 8, but just if, if I watched it back, I don't think series 2 was his best series. Episode 2 is where Kate and Martin are stuck at the resort waiting... Oh, watching, it says. Can't tell baby. Yes. That episode was really good. That one gets an 8. Just because it was so good with Coolio. It was so great. It was like, it was dancing. Maybe in a rude tip for a way, but it was good. And everyone else said to the carrot, okay, bad for a special performance right now. And that one was like, I think it was when he went lonely girl in a funny way. Right, episode 3. A proposal. It's after the proposal of Mel. Janice tries to convince Mad not to rush into marriage. The Oracle's arm wrestle contest turns into a group match. Okay, this episode was not bad, but I don't think it included the Neptune bar, so that one only can get a a, a free bullfight. Okay, I saw this one, and it weren't very good, but they were a bit of a joke with the Oracle when he kissed Chantel and he had to cover up his with a magazine, but I don't really want to go into much detail about that. But that episode can only get an eight. I could give it a nine, but me didn't really enjoy it. What well, people might say, but I didn't enjoy it. Madge accuses Silver of trying Sylvia of trying to steal Mel, resulting in a pool shoot, side shootout. With Silk Twist, Martin is suspicious of Kate and Matteo. I don't think the episode was that good. I can't really remember it, but I'm going to give the episode a 7. Irritated but that the fact forgot their anniversary, that Mick forgot their anniversary. Janice flirts with Young and Myra. Okay. Don't let Jacqueline help Kate, Kelly and Matteo get back together. I'm giving that a 7. It's good that they win it, yes, and I could give it an 8, but the other bits weren't as that good. Jack is back for an encounter with Janice. Meanwhile, all the guests are invited to Meg's wedding. That one wasn't that good, but that one gets a 7. And then that's a romantic stroll, most memorable day for Mel. It's a one that gets a seven as well. Or I might have mixed them up, but I'm giving both of them seven. Right. So, just before we go into series three, episode two says episode one there. So, we're going to count that as the next one as being the last episode of series two because clearly it were, I think. After Maggie's big day is ruined, she and Janice find themselves mixed up in a dangerous situation with a mysterious Spanish criminal. Good music in it, and it went, I'm a hero, and it was a really good episode. That episode well deserves an absolute nine. Bit surprised, but it was the best episode of the series. Because I know Kate and Dingy weren't very good, but it was like they were all coming, you know, like battling out against a killer. A killer thought he'd got a lucky escape, and then Mel came to save the day. It was a real good episode. So this series needs a rating now. This series gets a series two one about. It gets an eight. It was quality there, but not the best series three. No. And the Brick Holiday Mystery makes a return to the salon for their free vacation. Okay, it was a free vacation. And they were offered a free vacation, I think. So this one is getting a rating, of course. Seven. This episode, it weren't that good. It was like Mad was on the phone to Mel a lot of the episode. Knowing his convincing, oh yes, this episode was great. As soon as gay, so she arranged an internet date. Martin is forced to bear. So he, it says, he. Not she. It was he. Martin is forced to bear it all when he loses his clothes. At the water park. The writer, Darren Little, is it called or Little, said that his favourite episode, apart from this one, so this was his favourite episode, and apart from that, he was writing Series 7 at a time, Series 7, Episode 7, and I wasn't skin on that, but I really like this one. This one gets a, for me, a 10. I could watch it over and over again. 
the article convinces his mother he isn't gay, then meets his online date and the big secret. Mel tries to buy local tourism spot Pika Island. Okay, this one I don't think was as good as the first one. But this one gets it nine. Maggie's enchanted daughter shows up at the salon and the strange and Madge thinks she's followed them to get Mel's money. Meanwhile, Gifter pays respect to them. I can't really remember this one. I'm just going to give it an 8. Try secrets, make Gavin spit because he's cheating on him. The other court tells tales. Nearly get him arrested. Mel and Madge prom. Okay, this one gets a 9. And this one was an alright one, but not the best. I'm giving that a well-deserved 8. This series absolutely well-deserves a 9. Bang on 9. Because Mel was at the best he were, and sadly he weren't in series 4, but that was because his actor sadly passed away. Oh no. Okay. The Christmas special gets a... Six for me, surprisingly. It wasn't that good. It started off good, but Mel's actor sadly died, and it was a bad way to do it. This series was terrible. This episode gets a five for me. This one was more better because they went to a water park, but it was still bad for Mag, so it gets a seven for me. This one was where Matteo teaches his first aerobics class water. Donald ended up in hospital, and it was all about Mel's death, so that one gets a 7 for me. When a free count saw him battle, Leslie Ring is some bingo entertainment with prices. Handsome Stranger from Jerry's Passive Drive. That one gets, it was our favourite thing, the Stranger was Jack. So that one gets a 6. And then this one was where Kenneth, because Kenneth had been brought in, of course, because Brandy was brought in back in Series 3 with Martin, but then Troy disappeared in this series. No man, did. we had this girl called Sam and this other one that Liam fancied and Leslie was working there. William also worked later on. Kenny on the sound later on. This episode gets a well-deserved eight. This episode was like the final one in the series and the brilliant one. But it only can get a seven. It was sad. This series overall. I know I might not have rated much episodes like this, but if I'm rating the series overall, it's different than just rating one episode because there was other bits in it, but if I'm rating it in, like, the way I am, it gets a f five for me. It was just horrible watching Mag. I, I love them as a comedians, but it was horrible me watching five. episode one now, to start off with. That one was where Asa Elliott got his first ever appearance and a new salon and manager came in. When you listen to the end bit, it's really good. But it was a bit of a weird episode. That episode only gets a 7 for me. And then the next bit was a dance competition bit that was pretty poor for Series 5. For Series 5 it was pretty poor. It gets a 6. Next episode is the one where they did that stag do with Mick. And that one's good. It was a good stag too. It was a fake stag too. But that one gets a 9 for me. And then alarm rumours that this uh, kidnap people and trying to steal organs. That one gets a 7. Weren't very good. And then the British Olympics. 8 that one. It was alright. And then that one is a wedding to Mohammed that is fake. And then that one gets a dismal 6. And then that one is... Again, a dismal seven. And then that one's a... Well, that one's Series 6, Episode 1. So, that is Series 5 for you. Now it's time to rate Series 5. Um, now, Series 6 moved on, and it had Tiger and Clive and the married woman with crime. It was a good series, but the first episode was pretty bad. It was a... Five for me because it really focused on Michael getting into trouble. Second one 
was when Michael was led astray. I think that was maybe when the second one he was led astray, but he smoked and he didn't tell his family. That one gets a four from me. And then this was mainly based on Liam decides that he's fallen in love. And I think this could be the episode when him and Sam slept together. But that one gets a five. This one is when Martin wakes up. Oh, this is the good one because, hang on, forget what I said because that's a, a stab do there. Um, that gets him a seven because the stab do bit was okay. And then that gets a five because not very good. And then the sister climbed um, later in this series. Um, and then that was when Martin got um, tried to go out with the sister of, it was Tiger. And then that one gets um seven it was alright with the um, Wesley as the manager a bit. And then that one six. Um Alright, if I'm rating this, I'm rating it a seven. I don't really know much, but it's time to say seven. But let's just rate series 6 first. 6. Now, the first episode was pretty... Like, I don't know if I really focused on it that well. It, there weren't a lot to say. I'm giving that a 6. And this episode was rushed completely for the Garvey family to leave. And that one gets a... 4. Because it was too rushed and I hate that. And then this one was all right. It was when Clive's sister arrived and the article returned. That one gets a six for me. This next one is when Liam's mother came in and I'm pretty sure that was played by Alma Baldwin who was in Corrie. And the oracle attracts a female admirer's attention. So I'm giving that one, but I have to rate that one, which I'm doing, well-deserved six. And then this one is the one when there's shocking news to Joyce and there's a Roman fiancé arriving for the Oracle and when Kenneth and Liam hold a draw for makeover. That one gets them... Um, six. But this one gets an eight because they were stuck in the elevator and I've seen some good stuck in places in Benidorm and that one's an alright one. Okay, now this is the one that they do that partner swap up is revealed um and that one gets some um, hang on sorry let me just re-rate this that's a seven because the bit with clive tiger nah seven this episode okay the series seven gets a rating of seven because it looks like that feels rubbish but it was all right overall it was not too bad. i thought series seven wasn't too bad it's because once the garby family left it was all right as a series now, time series 8, episode 1. Okay. Jacqueline gives husband Donald a send-off. Tiger returns with Joey. 7. Episode 2 is when Matt did the first aid. Instructor thing. 7. Tiger and Joey have a running with a bike gang. An auction is in. And that's where... Mag returned, I think. That one gets um eight. Episode four, sorry, was when Pauline was drinking and Joyce attracts the super bit suited Lezers something or other. But that one only gets um a third. You think that one only gets a for me a well deserved six. And this next one is when Eddie and Jacqueline went on a date and the article's former fiancé shows up and that was pretty bad that she showed up. That one gets um, a seven though. And then this is the one where Troy's taken hostage by a stalker which was pretty weird and why did it have to happen. And that one gets um, a well-deserved six. And then the final one is the one that I don't really remember, but it was the award show one. Hang on. That was the one where Tiger climbed up to the mountain. Which one were? 
Which one was the one where Tiger climbed up to the mountain? Which one was it? We're going to say it was this one. The sixth episode. And I'm going to say that's the seventh. And then the seventh episode is a six. So overall, the series is better than I've been rating because the episodes don't give you a full description. But I'm going off the description here because I'm not very good at remembering. But the series gets a nine for me. And it's time for series nine because when they brought the nana in, the nana of Robert, it wasn't as good. And they got rid of the girl, it wasn't as good, series nine. Series nine was a pretty bad series, but this first episode gets a six for me because... Tiger had gone out with Rob's nana, and it was a bit weird, you know, slept with her, and Sam returned. It was a normal episode, but a six is the only thing I think that episode deserves, and there's no way I'm changing my mind, because that episode was pretty bad. Now, this next one was, I can't really remember it, but five for me, surprisingly. I can't remember it, and what I got, from it gives a five. Now the third episode, I can't really remember. But from what I six, no five. I can't really remember it, and it gets a five from what I hear. Series that was pretty bad. But now this one was medium mixed episode, but it was like a soap opera when they got rid of the girl. This one gets a five again. And this one was when they went to the dinosaur one. It was one of the best episodes of the series. It was a nine, definitely. Straight away nine. It was a brilliant episode. And then this one was when... A weird one, but... This one gets a five. And now we're on episode seven now. Sorry, I'm doing voiceover because I have to. Um, This one is Mr. Wu. He's good, but he can get really annoying. So that one gets a six. No, seven. And now we're on the eighth episode. And... For the 8th episode, from what I can remember, that one had Malcolm in, and that one gets a 6. And the final one gets a 10 out of 10. It was the best episode of the series, because it had the circus and Mr. Ben, I think, and that clown guy, that's what I'm on about. 9 now is a 6, because the Nana was supposed to be like Madge, but she was just irresistibly sucking at that job, and she was stupidly rubbish. And I don't think she was a good actor. She was just terrible. Just she was good at what she did. She was an actual good actor, but pretty bad. That the the part was just no. Oh, this okay. kind of changed a lot from series nine because personally, Monty was in it more, and he had become the entertainment manager and guy of Benny Dorm. And what made the series episode one weird is that. Not everybody had checked in to the Solana, which they would. Sorry, I'm just blowing my nose. Um, because I got a cold. Rough as a weasel, I am. But um, the people that had, um, were only like the Dawson family, and not even Robert checked in with his girlfriend Sid yet. So that episode deserves a low rating, and I have to give it that rating. I did enjoy watching series ten because. It was pretty rubbish, and that was why I enjoyed watching it, surprisingly. Because it was rubbish because I enjoyed watching, seeing how bad it is. Because I feel that at the start it was real good. Up until Series 4, which fell down. And then Series 5, it got better. Series 6, it got worse. Series 7, it got worse. Series 8, it got better. 9, it went down, but not too long. And then 10, it went really down to the lowest it could possibly be. But that one gets a well-deserved happen to have an episode rating of... Well, it was the wedding of Joyce and, um, Boise at One Fools and Arses, better known as Monty in this, but I've got a lot to say on this because this is the latest series I've seen, and it's got a good rating, of course, and, um, and the episode, when you watch the trailer, it looks really good. But it isn't as good as it looks on the trailer of CP10 and Bending On. Because that episode well deserves a dismal 6. It had potential and they just put that, that Peacock Island and the characters in it too much. Episode 2 now. Well that episode was a bit weird and Rob arrived and he 
well, they didn't know if it was a boy or a girl at the start. But this episode well deserves a dismal seven because, yes, we had some good comedy moments in it, but it's pretty bad. And when Joey returned with a new friend, his friend was like, are you on crack? And what's funny about that? He was upset, yeah. It was his first holiday. He was overwhelmed. And he was lying all the time, that guy. Weird. Now, time for episode three of the new series. That was Mr. Ben, the guy that I think him. Thought he's Peter K, but I don't think he is. And when Callum said Joey a tail, well, I think that was that he actually stepped with someone. He didn't, I think. That was... Oh, no, no. I'm thinking of episode four. That episode, though, doesn't deserve a good rating at all. It does, well, it, I might be thinking the wrong episode, I'm not sure, but that one is an average six. And then that's the next one that I think, um, Sam's the one that slept with Joey, I'm pretty sure, in episode four. And that one deserves a, a it was a probably one of the best in the series, because we had the Chuckle Bros in it. Dawson, the Eddie Dawson in it. We had Ben, who was drunk with the kids' club, I think. And it was all right. I got seven because it, I, I thought the Chuckle Bros it would have had a great part, but Benny Dom didn't put them having a real good part. Now it's episode five, and it wasn't really good. And it was when the I was like watching the end. I was like, um, "Who is this woman with thing with Polly, his mom?" And I was like, "Ooh, it were." Pauline's auntie, and it was pretty bad. But this episode gets five. And then this one was the one that I don't really remember, but I'm gonna say it's a six. Just, I don't really remember a lot about it, and this series was terrible. But this one was the one where Pauline met her auntie's boyfriend, and that was Malcolm. And that episode does deserve a bad rating. Because it was a bad episode. I didn't like him returning. It actually gave me a nightmare of Koji Masuda violently attacking me. I'm sorry, mate. But I had a nightmare of that. Um, and, yeah. And then number eight was a creepy one with Kenneth. Well, creepy. Oh, I forgot to rate that. Um, five. Could give it a better rating, but it was just too... It weren't good, like, good excitement. It weren't good. This one was when he visit Mr. Wu, and that was called that bit. So I'm giving this one a six. And then this one was the final one. Did nine episodes in series ten. The final one. I watched that um today, I think, and I thought for final episodes as it goes, rubbish. Just rubbish. Five. And I maybe it's because they didn't think they're gonna stop this show but they did all right and this series series 10 was the worst series of all this series gets a four mate it was no five 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 it was terrible there was good bits but i didn't really like a lot of the like locals and once robert left it was like why did he leave why did they put that drug under the pillow there was like loads of questions being asked that never got answered like, questions that one episode, say episode one, and they didn't get answered. It was a poor series.